Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to do a comparison of One UI 6 versus One UI 5 so that we can show you the new features which Samsung has added with the latest release of One UI 6. So, on the right is my Samsung Galaxy S23, which is running One UI 6, and on the left is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5, which is running One UI 5. The first major change in One UI 6 is your quick settings panel. So a single swipe down will get you access to your quick settings panel and you might not notice much of a difference over here. You will notice that by default the brightness slider is now present and then if you swipe down one more time that is when you will notice the major change. So here it is you can see on your screen right now that one UI 6, you have these two options on the top to turn on and off your Wi Fi and Bluetooth. These are the ones which you cannot edit. Then below that, you have another panel. These are the options which you can edit. And then you have your brightness slider, eye comfort shield, dark mode, smart view, and device control. Now, of course, this new quick settings panel in One UI 6 is not one handed friendly because I have to use either both hands or move my hand a lot to access the quick settings panel. Whereas on One UI 5, that was the advantage that one handed use was easy and of course there is some wasted space over here. I'm pretty sure they are going to plug in the date and the day over here now another pro tip if you have one ui 6 is a feature which is pretty handy so if i edit my quick settings panel i have this quick settings instant access and once i enable this i can now access my expanded quick settings panel if i do a long swipe from the right hand side towards the bottom of the display Another new feature of One UI 6 is your notifications themselves. So for starters, you will notice that the option to clear stays on the bottom right of the notification, but notification settings have been moved to the bottom left of the notification in One UI 6. And then another change you will notice is if you have multiple notifications in One UI 5, they are sticking together but in one ui 6 you have a little bit of space between the different notifications thereby making it easier to read the next new change in one ui 6 is your quick settings media player now again on first look it might not look that a lot has changed in fact it is very similar but once you expand your quick settings media player that is when you are going to see major changes so let us tap on the down arrow on both of them and bam here it is you can see that you now have your album art as a background in the quick settings media player then your progress bar is also a fancy one this is samsung's own take because on the google pixels you have the wiggly progress bar for your quick settings media player samsung has their own implementation which looks like an equalizer going up and down then the buttons have also moved below the progress bar so your pause next shuffle repeat all those buttons have also been moved the next new feature of one ui 6 is the new font so let us go into settings and again here in you will notice that the font is different and it is more compact more professional and more modern in my humble opinion the next major feature which has been added with one ui 6 is the widgets so let us go into widgets and right off the bat you will notice a new widget for camera now this here is a pretty awesome widget once you select this and say add you can now choose what mode of the camera you want to enable when you access this widget so for starters you can change the title on the widget and then you can change the starting mode as well so you can choose rear and front and then you can choose the mode so photo portrait video so let us say we want rear and in pro video and then we can tap on the back button you can change the widget background and then say save so here it is you can see i have two camera widgets on my one ui 6 and here it is if i select the first one it is going to open the rear camera in 
portrait mode select the second one it is going to open the rear camera in pro video mode so an awesome widget being added with one ui 6 the next one which is new is the weather widget has an additional option so if you go into weather here and you will notice you have a new widget which says weather insights now once you add this to your screen here it is it is telling me that the weather today is going to be cooler than yesterday for my specific city so another awesome widget addition for one ui 6 the next new feature of one ui 6 is the implementation of the back option so let us go into settings and let us go into lock screen on both the devices so now if i go to the home screen on both of them and i go back into settings you will notice that one ui 6 we opened back into lock screen options whereas one ui 5 reset to the settings main page then even the settings back arrow has a minor redesign you will notice that on one ui 6 the back arrow has a background of its own which is not present on one ui 5. the next new feature of one ui 6 is going to stop unwanted app installs on your samsung device from pop-up advertisements that is just one example so if you go into settings and once you are in settings you need to go into security and privacy scroll down a little bit you will see this option called auto blocker present in one ui 6 and as you can see it keeps your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activity for example block apps from unauthorized authorized stores so by default it is disabled you can go ahead and enable this and you might have to agree to the terms and conditions because i think this one is powered by mcafee but here it is you can see you have messaging app protection as well and it can also block software updates by usb cable so a pretty nifty feature called auto blocker present in one ui6 which is disabled out of the box and i do recommend that you enable it the next new feature of one ui 6 can be found in the camera application so for starters we are in video mode you will notice that the ui on the top is a bit different so for your aspect ratio they have removed the brackets which i think looks more professional and then if you go into the video resolution selection option you will notice it is more professional looking and more easier to use so here it is on one ui 6 i can choose the size and the fps so i think this is more user friendly then if you go into the camera settings here and scroll all the way up you will see something called advanced intelligence options present in one ui 6 and once you go inside that option you can configure the quality of your picture so do you want maximum quality do you want medium quality or do you want minimum quality and before you ask me hey manchi what is the difference well at minimum quality so it is going to take pictures as fast as possible by not optimizing pictures after they have been taken so you can take pictures faster but the quality might be reduced the next new change you will find in one ui 6 is when you go to customize the lock screen and here in you will notice that the clock options the font options the colors are almost the same but with one ui 6 you are able to move the clock around on your lock screen this is not possible on one ui 5 now in the current one ui 6 beta even if i move the clock around select done the changes are not saved so i do hope that samsung fixes this new feature of one ui 6 in the one ui 6 stable build the next new feature of one ui 6 can be found in the gallery application so let us say we open a picture on both one ui 6 and one ui 5 so for one ui 6 you will notice that on the bottom menu the options have changed a little so the three dot menu which is on bottom right in one ui 5 has moved to 
top right and one ui 6 then you also have this new eye icon in one ui 6 in the bottom menu if you select this you get the picture details and once you go into the details of that picture or more information about the picture you get options like remaster portrait effect and object eraser now these features are already present in one ui 5 but they are hidden behind menus so it is good to see samsung show off those features when you get the picture information and there it is peeps those are the awesome new features which samsung has added to their latest one ui 6 release of course if you have a feature which we missed in this video please feel free to add it in the comments on this video